This little video is going to cover how Windows Server 2012 Essentials handles those nightly backups of a sleeping computer. And right now you're looking at the desktop of a Windows 8 64-bit system. It's a Lenovo W520 laptop. And it's set to go to sleep every night when I'm not using it. So for this little lesson here, which I've covered in the accompanying article over at Tinkertry.com, we're going to go through um, kind of a somewhat deep dive of how this works, how the backup process works. All right, so let's get started. First thing would bring, be to bring up the dashboard. Um, for the purposes of this demo, whenever I jump over to my Windows Server Essentials, I'm just going to go to a full screen remote desktop session. Okay, so now we're looking at my remote system. And of course, we can bring up dashboard right there. So in the dashboard, we'll get started with looking at when is my server signaling the start of daily backups. So if we head on over to the Devices tab, over here you see Customize Computer Backup and File History Settings. Click on that, and right there, 1 a.m. to 8 a.m. every day. That's my backup window. Great. What's next? Well... Let's look at my local machine now. I'm going to hit the Windows plus X key. Let's try that again. Didn't mean to bring up my browser. Okay, Windows plus X key is now on this monitor. And we're going to go to the Event Viewer. All right, to get into the right spot in Event Viewer, you want to click on Windows Logs. System. And let's go back in time to last night. Well, actually early this morning, May 29th. So if we look at early this morning, here it is. The system woke up from a low power state at 1.04 a.m. And here it went right back to sleep half an hour later. Okay, so now we're starting to build the timeline that my backup window started at 1, and at 104, the first machine started backing up. So this is apparently the very first machine that backed up last night of all my systems. Okay. So now we've established the timeline. How does that compare to backup properties? So on the client side, uh, let me just show you the properties of this. There, we're running this, Backup Launchpad.exe. Very quickly, if you have a shortcut pinned to that, you can just bring up and you can see when my last backup was. So 1.05 a.m. is when it is logging that it started my last successful backup. Okay. So we're done looking at Event Viewer. We're done looking at the backup properties. And let's go back to the server. All right. Backup properties you can get by double-clicking there as well, and then double-clicking on the last entry. But notice you don't get the, um, the time of the last backup other than right there, echoed at the top of the list. And you can see it moves around through the night, so each night's a little different. Okay, so on that same server, its local file system has client computer backups. And if we look here and scroll back to the early morning hours there as well. There you can see I've highlighted the clustering of files it wrote during that half hour interval. Okay, so again this matches the timeline pretty well as well. Okay, what's left to look at? Well, when it's done doing that work, how does it trigger the backup the next day? Well, it's not doing wake a LAN or magic packets, any of that kind of stuff. It's not relying on that at all. It's just using good old task scheduler. So we're done looking at the server and back on the client PC that has the connector installed. If we hit the Windows key and just, sorry, Windows plus W key and type task SCH and hit enter, we're going to get the schedule tasks interface here. Let's bring that up full screen. 
opening up the scheduled task library on the client machine that gets backed up every night, any of them, doesn't really matter which, you go to Microsoft, Windows, Windows Server, and here it is. Backup. This machine is queued up and ready to go at 1.26 a.m. tonight. So not at 1.05, it's a little later. So apparently some other machine has uh, snuck in before me for tonight. So it seems to have some sort of algorithm to move around when a machine is backed up each night. You just have a quick look here. It's saying every day, but again, uh, if we look at this tomorrow, it'll be different. It just changes every time. So it seems the agent is kind of rewriting the scheduled tasks every night, the sch rescheduling or changing the scheduled task every night, altering it. And right here, start the task only if the computer is on AC power. And it'll go right back to sleep when it's done. It doesn't seem to wait 15 minutes to go to sleep. It does a backup and then goes right back to bed. So that's the end of what I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And thank you for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.